just woke up and he stopped. Because the snow is falling. Is it snowing outside? Hmm? So let's go outside and play in it. Come on. All right. Go play. I love that he has dark fur because the snow shows up on his fur and it's so cute. He's like, this is cold. Aww. He loves it. Oh, wilderness. Yes. Coffee. <laughs> so, <laughs> sometimes when I'm the one feeding him breakfast, which I have the past few days, just because like Tyler was going, anyway, doesn't matter. Um, and so we've trained him to, you know, sit and wait and we'll put the food, you know, the couple scoops in his bowl. And, uh, he is trained to sit there and wait until we tell him to eat. <laughs> and for some reason, when Tyler does it, we both say the same thing. He'll say, okay. And then he knows he can eat it for whatever reason, about 70% of the time when I do it, I... <laughs> put the food in his bowl nothing is different he sits there looking at me and then i'll say okay and he just looks at me I'm like go get it like i'm saying like everything i can okay i'm like <laughs> saying it all the same way any word any <laughs> Today I just grabbed his head and pushed it towards the bowl and he like touched the bowl and then just looked up at me i'm like ah. and so then finally i walked away and then he ate i'm like what what am i doing wrong why would he I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's frustrating, but funny. Because <laughs> the reality is he'll eat it eventually. It doesn't really matter. But <sighs> Anyway, so it is Saturday morning. My coffee just brewed. My lips are chapped. Um, <laughs> anyway, so today on the docket, I know I'm going to work on some laundry. We're, we Our trip is in six days. So Christmas is in a couple days. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. Um, and our trip's in six days. So we are going to do laundry today and try to not wear anything we're going to want to wear on our trip. So like my new Disney shirts, I need to wash things like that. Um, so we're going to do that. And he is going to try, he said, to put our new flooring in our bathroom. I'm like, I hope so. It's a good day to do inside project because you saw it is very snowy. And the snow is like picking up. This is awesome. Um, we've had like small snowfalls, but nothing... I mean, this already looks like more than we've had this year, which is exciting. Good timing, being on Christmas break, good timing. Um, anyway, so, and I'm gonna edit some video. We need to film, we are gonna film a sit down video, the two of us, but we might actually just film that like Christmas Eve morning together. And then, um, I don't know if I'm gonna film today. I kind of, I mean, I want to, but I don't know if I'm going to, it just depends on how much I get done. Otherwise, just because, um, I want to have videos filmed before our trip so I can have them uploaded. So maybe I will film a little bit today, some tomorrow, and then maybe even some more um, before we leave. Let me know if you'd be interested in me um, sharing like a uh, what makeup I'm bringing to Disney video. I don't, I don't always like doing that because I have to have it prepared ahead of time, like my makeup. And then I always change my mind. Like that's my problem. So I could do it, but there's no guarantees that in the end I won't swap out a palette or <laughs> I don't know. So I hate doing them because then I'm like, oh, I feel like I lied to you because I ended up trading out those blush. And I mean, the reality is it doesn't matter. But um, let me know if you'd be interested in seeing that. Well, I'm watching, whoa, it's doing something crazy to her face. Oh no, it's just where I paused it. Um, <clears throat> I'm watching Andrea Mat Matigliano. <laughs> um, I love her and it's her yearly favorites. Um, but I just pulled out, whoa, um, this notebook. I hadn't even used yet. I got from Erin Condren, like my favorite stationary planner, notebook, everything site. So this is one, I love that it's flat and like when you open it, you can actually like open it and flatten it. Does that make sense? So you could like leave the notebook open. But it's got the month of, de or the year 2017. I'm like, Jessica, why didn't I use this sooner? The good news is the rest of it's just a notebook, like once you get past it, um, which is why I bought it in the first place. But now I'm like, well, now I want to get on Erin Condren and get another one for 2018. <laughs> but um, just crack this bad boy open because I usually keep my to-do list like in my notes, like on my phone slash computer. But I'm realizing I really am more productive when I can cross it off physically. So that is kind of my goal for this new year is to be more organized with paper. And I know that's like counterintuitive because so much of what I do is online, but I know myself and at least with YouTube, I really do better this way. And I used to be really good about it and I got away from it, but then I just get so disorganized. So I'm excited to kind of start this back up again, old school. Anyone else just, 
Oh, I thought I just found like another calendar. No, it's still 2017. Um, is anyone else old fashioned like that? Like you prefer using paper for things? I guess I'm weird. Link Erin Condren's website below. It is one of my referral links, but I really like it. I also ordered those canvas prints I got for my family I showed in a previous vlog. Uh, I got all of those on Erin Condren as well. I really like it. I will say though, their shipping takes forever forever and I know that the things are personalized and that's a part of it but I mean it takes longer than it probably should that's the worst part about ordering from them okay so I'm making a list of everything I want to pre-film before we leave on our trip because it is for like a week and a half and then I'm right back to work when we get back so I want to have a lot filmed I want to get a lot edited before we leave and kind of scheduled to upload throughout so I'm not away too long um but I'm obviously doing my jammies which are like my you know, play on jam beauty 89, my jammies, um, my high end version, my favorite products of the year and my drugstore version of my favorite products of the year or that I've tried this year. Um, but I also want to do like a jammies for just generally the worst products I've tried this year. However, what if I call it like the slammies or the shammies or something? What is something that rhymes with that ends in Amy? but that would be great for like the worst products I've tried this year. I'm giggling trying to think of it. So you guys let me know below and I'll pick my favorite and that'll be what I call it because I think that'd be so fun. And I think the organization of these three is just right because I've done like where I did eyes in one video and face in one video, but I, I think it was too much. I mean, even still, this is still gonna be three videos, but I feel like drugstore deserves its own video and so does high end because, um, and I might not have something for every single category for both, but I think I can pretty much come pretty close <laughs> um, because I've tried so much, which is awesome, and I've fallen in love with so much, but I've also hated a lot. So let me know your thoughts on a, a name for that one. <laughs> okay. We may have added like three more days onto the end of our cruise because I wanted to. <laughs> so when yeah. we... Go ahead. So I just say Jessica literally called me. I was in uh, I was in Ohio, and she called me, and she's like, "Um, okay." So I was looking at it, <laughs> and we can add two nights. We both always do this, though. We're like, "Hey, so let me float so, this by you." <laughs> and so she, did you call Southwest or just change our Southwest flight, and then we added two nights at the end of our cruise to Disney? I didn't have to call. I just did it online. You did it online, and Very so she's easy. like, "Um, so." <laughs> We're gonna stay a couple nights at the boardwalk. We've both been wanting to stay at the boardwalk for a while. And we had- And you can't stay more than like two nights because it gets expensive. <laughs> yeah, so we were like two nights, which is because of the, where our, the times our flights are, that's basically three full days-ish. Mm -hmm. um, so we added that. So we're going to Disney and staying at the Contemporary for like what, four days, something like that. Yeah. Then going on our couple day cruise, then coming back and staying at the boardwalk. I'm so excited. <laughs> Oh, I want to rent a Surrey bike on the boardwalk and just yeah, bicycle definitely. around. That'd be so cute. So now we're booking some dining reservations. Mm. I just opened a package from Wet n Wild. I'm intrigued to try these out. I didn't realize these are like their like liquid highlighters. I didn't realize how many they had. Like I had seen like two and I'm like, oh, cool. Anyway, but they have their new palettes, which I'm so excited because they clearly heard our cries and they literally have transition shades in all of their palettes because that's kind of what was missing from their bigger palettes. A lot of people have compared this to some really famous palettes right now. Um, this one just looks so beautiful. Reminds me of the Modern Renaissance, that one I know some people have compared. This is their new Comfort Zone palette, which is, it is different, but um, again, I'm excited to have those transition shades. And then this one's called Nude Awakening. Not a basic peach, I don't know if I said that. Comfort Zone and then Rose in the Air. What else did they, oh, they're single shadows. I'm mostly just worried about this one, Brulee, trying that one out. Um, some uh, eyebrow stuff and then these brushes. I am so excited to try. How freaking pretty for drugstore brushes. That's ridiculous. Um, oh, and then they sent over a bunch of their cushion um, foundation. So I'll have to find my shade and give that a try. I haven't tried this. I haven't really heard anyone talk about it either. So I'm curious. There's a website called beautystatement.com that I guess sells makeup. I've never heard of it. But they sent me some of this stuff. So they sent me this by Terry um, Balm de Rose Lip Care, some matte lip paints from Galactic. I love the RMS Beauty um, little things. This is, oh, it's their Living Luminizer. I will save that for a giveaway because I already own this and I freaking love. I have this one and I have the other, well, there's another shade I have and so beautiful. Um, oh, Wet n Wild also, sorry, the Dewy Primer I'm so excited to try. 
so that beauty statement, they also sent this Dr. Dennis Gross like peel treatments thing and a little nest candle which i love nest candles so that was kind of exciting i kind of i mean completely exciting but i need to get all this cleaned up because i'd like to start planning my jammy awards um and really going through my makeup but i can't really think straight until all of this is cleaned up <laughs> tyler's fixing my wall it needed some touch up he's fixing it mr well because we put this three getting switch in there was just a one switch and the one switch controlled the outlet and so my friend ben and i installed this that now has the light and the fan yeah because it didn't have any so central yeah, lighting or we had to literally wire everything from scratch because there weren't even like if you move into a house sometimes there'll be like a little ring up there that you can install a light fixture like they didn't even have that so we had to start literally from scratch so thank, wire, thank goodness yeah. ben's like a genius when it comes to that kind of stuff because he helped me install all these and whatever but this one we had to cut out a little bit of a uh um, stud that was here so it got all messed up so that's why I'm just going through and painting it well thank you hey can you also paint this section over there I just did or I'm just, I just I was like what I, I just sanded it so I could paint it oh that's awesome this is so great because this, you had a little tv over here and then you decided that you couldn't see the tv <laughs> it was so small and so, far I'm like I don't even need it yeah exactly. I just watch well, it on my computer now exactly. so it doesn't really so now but we painted around that thinking you were going to keep it <laughs> and so Anyways, I've yeah, those holes and, and now we got this. So Thank you. Okay. <laughs> we got some Arby's because we <laughs> were listening to Christmas music parked like in a really weird area. But we're going to do some... Super creepy. Yeah, super creepy. Um, we're just doing some last minute shopping and stuff. Yeah, we need one gift for my mom. Mostly groceries. It's just like a normal shopping trip for us. Yeah, really, we just need some groceries. Um, but yeah, so... Listen to Christmas yeah, music. Get, in, sauce. get out of my sauce. I don't need your <laughs> judgment. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking, he likes the beef and cheddar, and I like the just straight up regular roast beef with the Arby sauce mm, on it. Yeah. <laughs> He's so cute. Don't fall down the stairs. <laughs> hey, Tyler, I picked something out. It may or may not involve macaroni and cheese. Okay. All right, what? It's macaroni. It's macaroni and cheese. But it's on sale, it's like $3 off. But it's okay because there's broccoli in it. So it it's negates the cheese. Healthy, part, the healthy option part. for sure. So we just brewed a cup of coffee to share, and we are going to go on a nighttime Christmas walk with Pinocchio because he's been very lazy today. And it's dark out, and we just got home from shopping. It's like 10, 20. And we were like, Let's just go on a walk now and see all the Christmas lights in the neighborhood, bring little Ding Dong, share a cup of coffee. So we're kind of bundled up enough. It's not too cold. I mean, it's like 30 something, but it doesn't really feel like there's not really any wind. So I'm excited. Just sounds like a nice relaxing evening. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve, which is so exciting. So we're done buying gifts. Um, we're done grocery shopping. I'm like looking around. Now we need to wrap gifts tomorrow. And tomorrow we're also going to my family's Christmas get together and church together. And then Christmas day, we'll have our time here together. And then we're going to Tyler's side of the family's Christmas. So it's gonna be chock full of fun and happiness. And I just love Christmas time. Okay, it's Christmas present wrapping time. This is something my mom gave me. I don't know, maybe last year, thanks. Uh, we're watching Bob's Burgers uh, Christmas episodes, of course. As always. Uh, of course. Um, so the way we've been storing it, because we used to store all of our wrapping stuff in like in a bin that would slide under the bed, but none of our beds we have now work that way. Pinocchio just sniffs. He loves the different smells. Anyway, but this you just hang up. So we hang it in a closet we have in the basement. And so we've got all of our wrapping paper for the year and then um, like bows and ribbons. And then this, I threw some I just recently got. We just have a giant basket that also sits in that closet. And it's got like gift tags in the front, tissue paper, and then, oh, there's more tissue paper. And then we've got bags and boxes. I swear it used to look more organized. Well, ooh, we'll need those though. So this system's working a little better because we can actually access stuff without having to pull something out from under the bed, uh, you know, open it, dig around like this. It's easier to see everything and I just really like it. So yeah, wrapping time on Christmas Eve morning because of course, <laughs> Pinocchio. Oh, sheesh. Also, I forgot our bows. Oh my gosh, so many bows. I always buy them after Christmas on clearance 
Ooh, I have some tags in there too. Um, so I always get cute ones because we try to save, like we definitely save bags. We try to save bows, but sometimes bows, you're like, okay, this bow is done. <laughs> um, so but we've got a lot of like fresh new ones this year, which is exciting. Oh, are, <laughs> he said, what did you say? He's like, that one's done. <laughs> <laughs> Not funny. <laughs> it really wasn't. <laughs> oh, we should have our tree on. Mm. Watching finally the Disney special from got a few weeks ago, maybe? You think? Yeah, it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah. We and we finished wrapping gifts. This is how we started. You know, you have all the energy, and then you end up with bags for a lot of the rest of it. Those first few looked real good, though. And they were in easy boxes to wrap, so that makes a difference. Yeah. So now on to cleaning all of this up. All right, so we've got presents in tow, <laughs> and we are headed to church with my family, and then afterwards we're going to my parents' house for big dinner and gift exchange, and we always, since there's so many of us, like my siblings, I'm one of six, is that right? <laughs> yeah. Um, there's a lot of you, I know that much. Uh, and, and then most of us are married, you know, it's just too many people to buy gifts for, so we always do like a white elephant, if you wanna play, you can bring one, so. That will be fun, and I'm excited to eat. I'm already hungry. We got a few hours to go. Um, but other than that, yeah, so we'll check in in just a little bit. All right, Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat. Please do put a penny in the old something's hat. Man's hat. If you haven't got a penny. <laughs> okay, anyway, so it's Christmas Eve. It's 11.47 p.m. Christmas magic. Christmas Okay, we're a mess. Um, Oh my gosh. Um, so, best gift of the night, Coochie Kopi from freaking Bob's Burgers. If you watch Bob's Burgers, you definitely know what it is. If you don't, you're probably like, you're weird. Anyway, it was part of the white elephant, and I was like, I will trade you this Bluetooth speaker that I got for that Coochie Kopi figurine. It's totally going in my closet with my other little things. I freaking love it. Tyler is excited about it too. Um, anywho, so we were sent home with so many leftovers and so many Christmas cookies. Way too many. Like, I, mean, I don't know how. I know. Yeah. we. I know we can freeze a bunch of them, and that's what we're going to have to do. But my favorite are these, they're like ginger molasses spice cookies. My mom's always made them, and she made them this year. And I think she made them at like 2 in the morning last night because they're my favorite. So we were sent home with a lot of those, and I am not unhappy about that because they are my favorite cookie of all freaking time. Anyway, so we are going to go to bed. We are exhausted. Pinocchio is so excited that we're home. Pinocchio, you gonna sleep in the big bed tonight? He's like, yes. Um, and we smell like Simba, my parents' dog, and he's like, what the? Um, so we will see you in a surprise video, a Christmas video, very soon. If it's already up, we will link it, but we have a secret to share with you guys. So we will see you guys in that video. Bye.